Hello, beautiful internet family. My name is Dan Davis, and I'm the creative director here at danstube.tv, as well as the Fearless Drone Academy, which is the ultimate online drone course for beginners. And today we're putting the Mavic 3 Classic through its paces. We're checking out the active track and APAS features to see how well this newly released drone can perform in a stressful situation. Let's see how well it can track me in a dense bush area with so much going on and you might be impressed by the results here. Now I'm going to test out the active track from the Mavic 3 Classic. I'm in the same location that I tested the Mini 3 Pro's active track. Now that drone's a lot smaller, so I'm very curious to see how a larger drone goes in a really tight area with a bunch of trees. So let's launch the drone and let's get straight into it. So I'm going to prime the motors, lift up, perfect. God, it's such a menacing device. I love the look of the Mavic 3 Classic. Oof, just commands it. All right, so we're gonna go a little higher to about that kind of height there. All right, and then all we have to do is literally just draw a box around myself. It's now in the tracking mode. So we're gonna go straight into active track here. We're gonna try to go, we're gonna try to get it to follow me from the front here. So let's see how it goes. Very nervous about this because there are a bunch of trees here. Let's see how we go. I'm going to try to pull it down a little bit. This is going to be a very cool test. It keeps going higher. So there are a few trees behind it. Yeah, it's uh, quite terrifying watching it fly backwards. All right, I'm going to try walking this way first. All right, so let's test this when it's actually flying towards me as I'm walking. I'm just gonna trust that it's got everything working here. Uh, obviously the fact that we've got eight way obstacle avoidance, I would imagine that the drone would be a lot more nimble at moving around obstacles and creating more of a dynamic smooth kind of shot here. So far, it's looking very good. We're recording 4K 50 frames per second. And right now it's just tracking me from behind. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna quickly tap this button and I'm gonna press front and see how it goes adjusting to the front. Is it gonna move? So as I start moving, it should, should come in front of me at this point. Let's see, maybe I just need to move a little bit further forward. There we go. So now it's flying around, avoiding all these trees, which is kind of crazy. No way. Whew. Okay, that was impressive. There are a bunch of trees around us. That was really cool the way it did that. So I'm really curious to see, like we're tracking pretty well. I'm in more of an open area so far, just to kind of see how it goes and just if, you know, I can trust it in a bit of a tighter area. But so far it's just been kind of going though. Like it's just been following all the inputs I put it in. Okay, so there's a tree there, it's picked up on that. The controller itself is just beeping away. It's telling me that there's a lot of stuff around it. The fact that it's using those uh, omnidirectional sensors, like it's using all eight sensors to figure out exactly what's going on, depending on if something's above it, to the side of it, it will come down, it will go to the side. It's very agile. Now, if I compare this to the Mini 3 Pro, which is still an amazing drone and can do a great job of tracking you, but because it lacks those side sensors and even the upward facing sensors, um, it is a little bit selective in how it moves, where I find the Mavic 3 Classic here is doing a great job. Like it nearly went to that tree there, it noticed it, and then it had to kind of swing around. So it's doing an amazing job of being aware of what's happening and continuing to keep me in the middle of the frame while moving back. So very impressive stuff. I'm gonna start moving the opposite direction now, see how it goes coming back this way. Oh yeah, it noticed that tree. And then it just swings around and keeps going. Yeah, it definitely makes a big difference having all of these sensors here. It's a lot more advanced than it's tracking. Wow, okay. So I'm just gonna stop tracking for a sec there. Move it around. Okay, so what I'm gonna try here is we're gonna try, we're gonna try more of like an angled front follow and see how this goes. So theoretically, it should catch up to me and get into the front position. Let's see how it goes. Oof, that was crazy the way it moved around that tree. 
Keep going, buddy. You got this. Fly over me. Yep, yep, yep. No, watch the trees. <laughs> Keep going. I think I need to move more this side. And then hopefully it's getting close. It's coming in. It's coming in. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. So it's now on that angle following me from the front. Oof. That was, uh, that was very close, but we're good. Still going well, still going strong. There's definitely a, like a bunch of tiny little branches that I'm nervous that it won't pick up on. Uh, that was the little issue I had with the Mini 3. It just can't pick up on everything, obviously. But right now it is doing an impressive job. Like even around this area here. Whoa, yeah, that was, that was close. All right, where are you going, bud? Come on, yep, yep, yep. Nice work. Yeah, this thing is so cool. All right, let's keep moving. Okay, hit those tiny little branches because they were maybe too small to recognize on the sensors. You need to go under, bud. All right, let's just stop for a second. All right, so now I'm gonna do the test that I did with the Mini 3 Pro. So I'm getting the Mavic 3 Classic to follow me from the front. I find that this is just a little easier for me to monitor and then hopefully I can press stop if uh, we get too close. You know, you've got to keep in mind that this drone is larger than the Mini 3 Pro, so I actually don't know how well it's gonna go in this little area here. Let's just make sure it picks up on this tree Comes around, has it lost me? Might have lost me. No, it's still going. Where are you going, bud? Which way are you going? No. Okay. See, those little branches are definitely the worry right now. This is a tight area. This is like an ultimate test right here. Um, it definitely is a lot more confident though, this drone, which is interesting. I find that the Mini 3 Pro was just a little bit nervous at times and it would take its time. I find that the Mavic 3 Classic, because it's got all those sensors, it's definitely a lot more confident when it's flying, which um, is a little bit nerve wracking at times with these kind of situations. All right, how's it gonna follow me here? Maybe I do get it to follow me from behind in this situation. All right, let's try that. All right, I'm just gonna come down here. Now we're gonna see how well it goes. All right, here we go. Let's see how it goes. So it should just come through this little gap here. That's very impressive so far. Let's try to go through this little gap here. Let's see what it's gonna do. Can you figure it out? Wow, okay. Yeah, nice work. I love it how I'm talking to it like it's a person. <laughs> Nice work, bud. Good on you. Perfect. GG. All right, this is going to be a very good test through this little gap. Oh, don't know how you're going to come through that gap, bud. Good luck. Okay. Whoa. See, that was very impressive. That's something that I find the Mini 3 Pro doesn't do because it doesn't have all those extra sensors. It's definitely not as confident to do a maneuver like that. Very curious to see how it goes through this section here as well. This was something that gave the Mini 3 Pro a little bit of trouble. Wow, it just finds the right path, doesn't it? Every time. Wow, look at us go. Charging through this, this is impressive so far. Okay, keep going down. Yep, perfect. Oh, this is cool, as Did an awesome job here. Okay, so now I'm gonna try, this is what gets me a bit nervous, but let's try to track it from the front here. That's not what I want. Oh, maybe, no. Okay, maybe we'll just try that then. Okay, so it's tracking from the front. Let's see how it goes here, trying to maneuver when I'm walking forward and it's flying backwards. Theoretically, it should do the same thing. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it was a bit nervous. Okay, kept going, that's cool. 
Perfect. So now I'm going to walk backwards and see how it goes doing the same maneuver. So it knows it's got to kind of go down below that point. Ah, have I, have I got it? Has it stopped? It might have stopped. There we go. It's actually stopped in that position. So I'm going to stop tracking. Interesting. It seems to have found a point where it doesn't want to keep flying. So I'll bring it around here. All right, so I'm curious to see how it goes back on the same path, but tracking me from the front. Because this is a little bit more open here. We might have more luck here. Okay, so back on tracking, I'm recording. All right, let's say that again. All right, so here we go. So now it's tracking from the front. So the subject is right in front of the drone. Oof, that was a bit of a sketchy move there, but it kept following me, that's all good. Let's see how it goes around these trees here. Hopefully it's all good. Should swing around that tree. Oh, has it lost me, has it lost me? And no, it's found me. Wow, okay. So you need to now somehow work around these trees and keep following me. Think it might have stopped. Okay, so that's interesting that tracking from behind seems to be a little bit more consistent. I wonder what that's about. All right, let's try from the front again. So you need to get in front of me, bud, without hitting anything. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's see how it goes through this area here. It should swing around me and get into the front here. Yeah, perfect. So now let's see how it goes through this tiny little gap here. Okay, come on. I'm gonna trust you. Oh, wow. Look how tight that little gap is that it got through. Okay, there's a few branches and trees that are a bit small. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, wow, that was very impressive. Okay, it's doing a really good job through here. Yeah, nice, that was awesome. That was perfect. Yep, go down, go down. Oh no, it stopped, that's good. <laughs> okay. It's picked up on some branches and it kept going, there we go. Yes, that was awesome. That was a really cool job there. Yeah, I'm impressed. The tracking on the Mavic 3 Classic is definitely a lot more like interesting, I would say, in its movements if we compare it to the Mini 3 Pro, which is a great drone, can track you really well. But I find that the extra sensors just make this drone so much more confident. They've obviously programmed it in a way where, you know, it's obviously more confident to do some different maneuvers, to do more swinging maneuvers, because it's got those side sensors, you know, to swing around objects. Like right now, it's swinging around that and it's continuing to keep me right in front there. So let's go through this way here and see how it goes continuing with that front tracking. So far I'm very impressed though. This drone is amazing. And obviously like if you're tracking a car or a boat or something where there's nothing around, it's just gonna do a phenomenal job. This is a bit more of a challenging test where we've got so much going on here and it's trying to make it work. Um, but yeah, really, really impressive stuff. All right, final test here, tracking from behind. Again, I've been extremely impressed so far with how well the Mavic 3 Classic can track. What I'm gonna do here is I can see it's starting to track me from behind here. So I'm going to pick up my pace. So I'm gonna kind of power walk a little bit. I feel a bit more confident here because it's a bit more of an open area. It should be, be tracking me straight on here, uh, which it seems to be doing a really cool job so far. I'm just gonna swing it to the front now and see how well it goes tracking from the front. Let's just see, as I pick up the pace, it should, once it's figured out that it can get in front of me without hitting anything, it should start swinging in front of me. This is something that can be a little bit of a gradual thing, but I, I do love this directional tracking. I find that it's very impressive what it can do. Uh, the fact that you can track from all different directions is really cool as well. Okay, so now that I've stopped, I can kind of adjust myself and it should be, yeah, there we go. Now it's following me from the front. So it kind of just needed me to slow down. It's going a bit fast, I didn't know what to do. All right, so let's see if I kind of jog, power walk, whatever you want to call it. Let's see how it goes with a bit more pace. Just constantly beeping because there's so much around us, but 
Again, very impressive. If I kind of come back this way now, so it's got to change the direction. Let's see how it goes. Very curious to see if this continues. Yeah, whoa, no way. That was awesome. That was a very cool like direction switch right there. And now it's got me right in the front. Let's pick up the pace a little bit. See how it goes. And if you stop, it just stops there. That's cool. Yeah, wow. Very impressed so far. This is impressive what they can do. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this video. I do appreciate all the amazing support. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. Are you impressed by the active track and A-pass capabilities of the Mavic 3 Classic? Were you surprised? Were you disappointed? I would love your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know and I will chat to you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.